Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Um, hope you enjoyed my last video. I did the Fiat 1800. Uh, today we are going to be doing a light restoration on this one. It's a Ford console made by Corgi Toys. Um, as you can see, it's been already overpainted. Somebody's nicely left the uh, masking tape all over the windows, so that's going to be an absolute terror to remove. Um, yes, overpainted absolutely everywhere. Um, so I'm going to have to do um, quite a bit of uh, caustic uh, solution today, I think. Um, let's see how this, this strips off. Uh, they've nicely got it all over the tyres and the wheels as well, so the base is going to have to go into the caustic solution. Um, yeah, so I mean, somebody's clearly envisioned a beige, a hearing aid beige um, base with a sort of navy blue roof. Um, personally, not particularly a fan. I see these cars in a lovely sort of, I don't know, um, pastel colour or maybe a solid colour, one solid state colour maybe. We'll see, I don't know, I'm going to have a look. So today I've already pre-drilled the base. As you can see, drilled down the uh, centre of the post or the rivet and uh, taken the four millimetre drill bit and uh, and removed the head off each rivet. Um, so the base comes off nice and easy, he says. Um, so wheels, or at least the front axle, has come off the, the base. The rear axle, though, is part of the tin plate base. So it's got sort of a cover over the top if you like and um, so I can't remove the rear axle today um, so I'll be uh, taking the ties off and putting both the axles the wheels and the base all in the caustic solution now first plan of attack um, let's get these windows out so it looks to me like there's possibly a rolled over post or a rivet so I'm going to attempt to drill that out off camera um, and then we'll go ahead and sort of look at getting this in the caustic soda Luckily today, there's been no sort of gunk or gonna her persifilis on the axles, as we say. Um, so we've got nice sort of COVID-free, sanitised style car. <laughs> so, yeah, right, I'll have a quick look. Right then, um, so I had a right trouble trying to get that window out. And unfortunately, I have cracked it. Uh, amateur. However, it's cracked in a place where you won't see it from the sides. So if I can get away with touching a bit of glue on the top of that, then we'll, we'll try and do that. My other issue is uh, the masking tape is so stuck on. I dare say some of this uh, masking tape and paint's been on there for a, lo a long time, a number of years. So I'm gonna put the um, window section in the caustic soda for a, a split second with some pliers and hope that it strips off that, uh, that masking tape. If not, this will be going in the bin and we'll have to try and make use without any window section. Um, so first things first, I've got my uh, caustic soda solution uh, ready to go. Um, so we'll, we'll get that uh, in, the, in the solution and see what happens. All right, so my trusty home base special caustic soda. Uh, I've got the boiling water in the jar already. Um, so that's red hot. Um, as you can see, I'm not going to be using the tyres today. So I'll go ahead and remove these brittle old overpainted tyres. Now, in normal cases, I would try and salvage tyres like this. Uh, well, original tyres at least, uh, because obviously the originality is key. I know it's not original anymore now I'm painting it, but neither was it original when somebody else painted it. So to all you purists out there, um, don't hate me, but I'll be using the code three um, tyres, if you like. Um, right then, base, ready to go in, spare axle, other axle, ready to go in, body, also ready to go in, keep the window section to one side for now, let's bring the uh, jar into focus, um, so, oh, excuse me, uh, trying to get that cap on, um, we're doing one cap full to start with, which is the equivalent of about a tablespoon, I'd say. A lovely fierce reaction there. Um, and to be honest with you, for good measure, I might put one more cap full in today uh, because 
I think this is going to probably put up a little bit of a fight. There we go. Lovely first reaction. Um, I must clean this lid. It's getting a bit gunked up with the steam. But uh, for now, that can go to one side. And uh, there it is. You can see the wheels uh, always make this lovely kind of, I don't know, uh, reaction, as if, if you like. It's about the best word I can think of. But as you can see, it's bubbling away there. And the body is also, I mean, you can't really see that, but uh, the body is really, really sort of bubbling away. Rear axle, I think. Oh, no, that's the same axle. I don't know what paint they've used, but it's certainly uh, removing very quickly. Um, and you can see a little glimpse of uh, possibly green uh, under there. So I don't think that Corgi would have painted this car green. I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I've never seen it in its original form, nor have I seen a original Ford console. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm certainly happy with the paint removal today. It's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely going as I expected it would. Um, so yeah, we'll leave this to uh, to react and um, we'll come back to it in about half an hour. Uh, on the last video, uh, I think I took it out a bit prematurely. Um, the, the sort of casting, um, it uh, it didn't have a hundred percent or you know a large percent of paint removal in the end. It turned out I've actually sort of prematurely pulled it out. So I want to see if we can try and get uh, this down to pretty much bare metal today um, and then we'll, it'll make our life easier. Uh, coming to use the wire wool and, uh, and and sort of prepare the body for paint. So right, let's let's just see what happens here. Okay, I mentioned uh, I'm going to try and dunk these briefly in the caustic soda. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just now. And I've not really got much to lose here because they are pretty knackered anyway. Uh, but I've just put them in with some long nose pliers. Give them a swirl around. Uh, I don't really know what to expect here, but uh, we'll definitely, definitely try it. Um, I'm hoping we can save the window section because, as I say, somebody's made a real hash of them. <laughs> and for saying I'm sort of new to this, if you like, um, I'm certainly def desperate to uh, to give this a good go and try and get these windows cleaned up. It'd be a great success if I can uh, if I can get this done. Um, and to be fair, looking at them. The masking tape looks like it's peeling at the corners, so I'm just going to go ahead and hold these here for a little tiny bit longer. Um, I am aware that caustic soda could cut, it could harm this plastic, so I'm like I said, it's a pure experiment. I'm just trying this to see if it will uh, see if it will try and ease some of this masking tape off. Um, hmm, we'll see. A few more seconds, and I'll go ahead and take this out. I think that'll probably be enough to be honest with you. Um, okay, so yeah, it looks like it's actually done something. Um, well, masking tape seems to be peeling off nicely, actually. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a fair good success. So, if any of you out there want to know how window sections fare in uh, in this caustic solution, there you go. That, that is pretty damn good. I'm surprised at that. I thought it'd be. Um, a lot, uh, a lot worse. I thought it would probably melt the plastic. There's two more bits here. Let's see if it sort of. Oh yeah, look at that. Like butter. Although you wouldn't want to eat this. It's not like butter. Um, but so yeah, there's potential here that I could polish these up actually. So, right then, let me move on. Okay, so I've cleaned it off, and to be fair. <laughs> I have just rubbed this down on some sandpaper uh, off camera, but uh, I'm going to continue rubbing it down. I thought to myself, I better, better record me doing it if you guys want to see it. So there's some sort of like, I don't know, it's still adhesive or something. I tried to wipe it off with some thinners, but it wasn't coming off. So I think it's bedded itself into the uh, plastic. So uh, maybe like a reaction. So, um, hmm. yeah, just just lightly rubbing this uh, on the uh, on this sort of sanding pad. Um, now, <laughs> I did notice watching back my other video, I do apologise guys, um, my breathing in this video, in these videos sounds really loud, um, and you'll probably notice now even more, so even now, now I've said it, um, I don't know why it sounds so loud, I mean, I don't breathe loud in, in person, um, oh, I 
I don't, at least I don't think I look like a breathe, breathe out in person. But as you see, just then I took a breath and you can probably hear it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hopefully not suffering with sort of asthma or something, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, keep an eye on that, I think, because I don't want to be uh, struggling with breathing problems. I mean, I am outside in, in an open garage, um, so any fumes or anything, I'm not breathing in a slip because it's so much like I'm being outside anyway. And to be fair, just thinking about this, I hopefully you can hear me talking because I've just been standing as I've been, you know, I've been talking. Um, but uh, right, look, I don't know what to do with these. They they look a little bit um, too far gone, but I'm kind of hoping I can save them with some polish. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. The um, caustic solution is still working its magic over there. I can see through the glass. It's not completely uh, removed the paint yet. Um, okay, so we're getting somewhere. I've, I've thought about maybe spraying clear coat over the top of this and hopefully making it uh, um, sort of fill the scratches in that I've now caused. Um, I mean, I could buff them out, I could polish them out, but without the correct tools at the minute, I'm going to be struggling, um, so I could probably come back to it at a later stage, uh, but at this moment in time I'm going to attempt today to try and clear coat over the top of this and just see what happens. I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what, what, what happens with this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get some cardboard and I'm going to attempt to, to clear coat these. Okay, so I've got the uh, window section ready and I'm going to use the uh, high coat uh, clear coat lacquer today. Uh, I think I got this from, um, I don't know, probably even home base to be fair, uh, or the range or somewhere. Um, but to be honest with you, it's, um, yeah, I've used it before, it's pretty good. Um, turn my camera a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so I've already shook the can, um, just another little, little top up. Okay, so let's try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You know, it's going to make it look a little bit better, isn't it? At least I want to give it a bit of a shine. I mean, I have I have rubbed this down even more off camera, and it's just not coming off. Whatever it is, like I said, I think it's bedded into the plastic now. I mean, there's no interior on this car. Um, and I just, I don't know, I'm looking at that, I'm not really sure. We'll try it, we'll offer it up to the car. Uh, the problem is the colour I'm doing this car, those windows will stand out tremendously. So potentially here, I could have to scrap the windows off, we'll see. Um, but like I say, we'll just wait and see what happens. I mean, they look really cloudy, um, so not entirely sure spraying clear coat on them was the right thing to do, um, but yeah, look, we'll try it. Trial and error. Okay, uh, so we've <laughs> drained the uh, caustic solution out. Um, now, I'll be honest with you, I'm really impressed with this. Really impressed. So we've got a very, very high uh, paint removal. Anything is, it's green. I mean, it didn't have a green on it at all when, uh, you know, when uh, I was looking at the body with the paint on. But inside needs a little bit of a rub down. I think it just wipes off. It seems to just, just wipe off with my finger. Um, so we'll give that a rub down. Now I've decided on the colour already for this. Um, hope you guys like the colour. I'll go ahead and reveal in a minute. Um, just before I do though, um, just need to point out here, there's a pillar damage and a crack on this one here. Now, watching videos on, on YouTube, I've under, got the understanding that uh, if you bend castings one way, which that would be in, and now I bend it back, the potential that it could snap. So I've got to be really, really careful. Um, this is where I absolutely ruin the, uh, the casting. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna use some long nose pliers and just gingerly just, just bend this back 
into shape. Now, that for me is as good as it gets. I'm not going to move it anymore. I think that looks pretty good. Um, might possibly use some sort of glue on there, um, but we'll see. First things first, let's get this thing rubbed down with some wire and remove this green um, base. Again, very happy. Uh, corgi toys, look. So the wheels, they survived. Uh, front axle, same thing, they survived as well. So let's give this a clean down and skip to the next stage. There we go, guys. Uh, all sort of rubbed down, if you like, um, all cleaned up. Um, so body is nice and shiny, shiny shine. Wheels are done. Um, base also cleaned up. Love that sort of brushed look. That's really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that, that one unpainted, I think. Um, windows, uh, failure. Absolute failure. They've gone milky. I don't think I should use those. So probably going to just scrap that off, to be honest with you. Um, looks pretty good without windows, to be fair. Looks like an early toy. Um, some of the early ones didn't come with windows anyway. So... Um, but yeah, so right, that's first things first, let's get this, uh, get this painted. Okay, so um, got the casting ready, trusty mole grips. Um, other people have, uh, I've seen use um, forceps. Um, I mean, I've never actually tried any, I've not got any. Uh, these mole grips seem to grip pretty much everything that I need and it seems to secure them really well. Yeah, okay, granted they're, they're a bit sort of cumbersome, a bit, a bit clumpy, um, but do you know what? For what I want to use them for, that'll be, that'll be just fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Simonized Grey Primer first, uh, or Simonis, <laughs> as my colleagues at work say. Um, to be fair, I normally sleep this stuff. It's not the greatest, um, but for what I'm using it for, it seems to do the trick. Um, I'm not overly sure on the, over, on the actual paint, but the Grey Primer uh, seems, to, seems to work really well. So I have just shaken this can. Another quick shake. There we go, let's try it. I always forget to do a quick test squirt on the cardboard behind, but it's not causing any issues. Uh, as I say, I have done a quick flick through my, um, my choice of paints. And to be fair, I'm really excited to do this one. I've got a nice colour for it. Um, so you guys will have to wait and see. And to be honest, last night I put the casting on the radiator in the house to, to sort of bake it on. But um, I'm half tempted to try use the uh, hairdryer that I have. Uh, the only worry that I've got with that is if, if it blows dust. So I might try it on the next, next casting, um, see about um, using the hairdryer to bake on the paint. glossy top look shows that it's gone on nicely um, right then that can stay there for a few minutes I'm going to um, let that harden um, whilst we wait for that I'll just show you another little project that I'm doing at the minute for a friend of mine at work I'm doing him a, a grey mini um, now he has a really cool mini race car that he takes on track and it's got a carbon fiber roof um, so I thought I'd try and replicate that a little bit um, and it's, it's like a this sort of dark flat grey colour and to be fair I've been in the car and it's freaking scary um, I mean it, it handles like it's on rails I know, I know that's quite a, uh, a commonly used term and I'm not using it loosely when I say it, it really does handle like it's on rails. So cheeky little surprise for him. I'm going to uh, hand this to him tomorrow when I'm back at work. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully likes it once I've once I've finished it up and put the wheels back on. Um, I've not done the video for it, but I just thought I'd uh, be generous and make him a cool little replica of his own car. So yeah, any of you guys uh, have any minis or Beetles? Um, as I've mentioned previously, I've got a Beetle. It's a 1983 Mexican import Beetle. Um, a sort of patinaed look to it, if you like. Um, nice chunky tyres. Um, that's the car there. And I also have a 1992 Mark III Golf. Um, nice and low. Uh, yeah, nice car. So, yeah. Um, right then, back to the casting. I uh, should uh, let this dry first and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so primer is now hardened and dried. And today I'm going to be using more Simon Eyes. But today we're going to be doing a gloss black paint for this vehicle. And I think this will look absolutely amazing in gloss black. Uh, so given the can of shake already. Once again, we need to top up that shake. Test spray first, because I always forget to do that. And let's lay it on. I always find with these, um, 50s and 60s cars, there wasn't much choice of colour um, in terms of, well, or finish of, of paint, because there wasn't really metallic paint around. It wasn't really a thing uh, back then. So, you know, you were stuck with blues, greys, blacks, whites, and obviously some pastel colours. Um, so, quite often you'll see um, black cars and to be honest with you they look very executive and there's nothing wrong with a, with a black I mean look at that glass black 50s and 60s car I mean that looks absolutely outstanding I'm really quite uh, quite taken back by that so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this inside Put it on the radiator and let it bake and with a bit of luck um, that should be nice and shiny when it's done. Whilst we're waiting for the uh, <coughs> casting to dry I thought we'd uh, oh, I thought I'd show you um, the process of chroming uh, re-chroming the wheels. Um, well, when I first heard about die cast restoration I th thought about using sharpie pens, um, a silver sharpie pen to sort of replenish the, the paint on these wheels but after watching some people's videos um, I noticed on the bloke called Rob, uh, Rob videos, he's on uh, Matchbox Garage, um, he uses this liquid chrome pen so I went ahead and bought myself one because um, I, th I thought the finish looked pretty, uh, pretty good um, and Likewise, you know, as with his videos, give them a watch, they're absolutely spectacular. Um, as with a lot of other people's uh, resto videos, um, you know, uh, I just sort of pick in this, this bloke's name out of the hat because I remember this pen. Um, this, uh, this pen is absolutely spectacular. Look at that, that chrome finish. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, thought I'd go ahead and uh, get hold of one of these pens. It's um, lovely, a lovely finish. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the chrome on it. it. It's strange. I always wondered how they did chroming and stuff. And um, when I was younger, I used to want chrome wheels on all my cars, and I never never really got a chance to do it. But had I've had the opportunity to buy one of these pens when I was younger, I'd have been quite a happy lad to be honest with you. Um, so there's the front axle done. Go ahead and do the, the rear one. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll be honest with you, I've really, really gotten into this uh, this restorations, um, die cast restorations recently. It's it's got me by uh, it's got me by the balls really, because I'm uh, I'm sort of really taken back by it. I'm enjoying doing it, enjoy watching the videos, and to be honest with you, <laughs> I really enjoy collecting. Um, I'll show you on another video uh, my sort of small collection of die cast cars. Um, Uh, struggling focusing but uh, yeah I'm quite happy with that finish so I'm gonna let these dry um, I have some um, spare tires for the project uh, which are in here now these are the tires I use the code 3 uh, rubber tires I think they are basically just um, rubber o-rings really but uh, Hey, do you know what? They do the trick, and uh, they're cheap, so that's the key thing with it, really. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find that casting, see if it's dry, and uh, we'll get this back together. And there you have it, guys. She's done. Uh, nice, gloss black finish. Lovely chrome work around the grille and headlights. Filled the bumpers in. Door handles had a little bit of attention. Uh, again... <laughs> I've not done the tail lights. I keep I keep meaning to do them, but I'll, I'll finish them up. Um, uh, don't mark me down on that, unfortunately. It's uh, something I just forgot to do. Um, boot lid handle, if you like. Now you'll notice I have left the windows out uh, because they were a shambles. And if you look at that against that, it would just look ridiculous. Um, so yeah, don't spray them with clear coat. It doesn't work. Um, so anyway, never mind. No windows in this one. I'm not really bothered. I think it looks great anyway, regardless. Um, it almost looks a bit, um, I don't know, conservative. It looks like a uh, MP's car from the 60s or something, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy with this. It's going to go into my collection. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you again soon.